What happened? Oh, that's right. I was on Melokinia. And then that light swallowed me up. Where is everyone? Hey, I still have my communicator. It's no good. I can't get a signal. So where am I? Where did I get sent to? I can't just sit around here and do nothing. I need to figure out where I am right away. From the looks of it, this place might be some underdeveloped planet. Where could I possibly be? That's... there's someone there! Whoa! Behind you! Huh? I gotta help her. This is bad. Say that's worth 10 out of 10. Whoa! Whew. Good thing I made it in time. Ah, I shouldn't have used my phase gun. Great. How could I have been so careless? That probably violated the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. But I had to do it. If I didn't pull the trigger, I couldn't have saved that girl. I... um... You all right? Well, that was a close one. By the way, if you don't mind me asking... Hey, wait! She ran away from me. Oh, good. I was hoping you'd wait for me. I'm sorry I ran away like that. Oh, no, th that's okay. It's just that everything happened so quickly. I was really shocked. 
<laughs> Scary, huh? Y yes a little Still, I'm really sorry about all this. You saved me, but I just ran off like that. Nah, <laughs> don't worry about it. Besides, you did stop to wait, didn't you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself. My name is Reyna. Reyna Lanford. Oh, and uh, I'm Claude. Uh, Claude C. Kinney. Uh, hi. <laughs> nice to meet you, Mr. Kenny. So, Mr. Kenny, was there something you wanted to ask me earlier? Oh, right. It's nothing that important, really, but... Uh, where am I? Are you a traveler? Uh, something like that, yeah. Where are you from? From... from Earth? Earth? Where is that? I figure she wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Well, uh, how can I put it? It's... it's really far away from here. Really. Really far away. Probably. A faraway place? I have never even been off this continent. That's really amazing. Is Earth farther away than L? I suppose, yeah. It must have been quite a long and difficult journey. Mr. Kenny, once we cross this bridge, we'll be in Arlia. Arlia? Is that where you live? But, uh, are you sure it's alright if I just barge in? Of course it is. Besides, I need to repay you somehow. No, please, don't worry about it. I didn't do anything that special. <laughs> you don't have to be so modest. It won't be much, just the least I can offer you, so please. Welcome to Arlia. I haven't breathed air this clean in a long time. What do you mean by clean air? Is there such a thing as dirty air? Yeah, it's sure dirty where I come from anyway. Really? I don't think I would like that. I don't think so either. This feels a thousand times better. There's plenty of clean air here, so breathe as much as you please. <laughs> I need to run back home for a little bit, Mr. Kenny. Would you mind maybe taking a walk around the village for a little while? Sure, no problem. I'll be right back. I 
it's probably not a good idea to get too involved with the locals. I better try to find a way back. Maybe the villagers will have something helpful to tell me.
so where is he right now? Well, I told him to look around town for a bit. Wait a minute, Reyna. Hm? Um, excuse me. Ah, is something wrong, Mr. Kenny? No, um, I was just walking around the village and I wound up here. Oh, I see. I didn't expect you to be here. Is this a bad time? Oh, no, not at all. Mom, this is Mr. Kenny. He's the one who saved me earlier. Oh, oh my. So he's the one you told me about? Well, hello there, Mr. Kenny. I'm Raina's mother. Just call me Westa. Raina said that you saved her from a dangerous situation earlier. Oh, I, uh, it wasn't anything special at all. But of course it is. It would have been a disaster if you hadn't shown up when you did. I told this girl time and again to stay away from the sacred forest, but she never listens to me. Oh, Mom. Reyna, you should just be glad that you're okay. Anyways, Mr. Kenny, I'm sorry I kept you waiting. I'm done here, so how about I show you around the village? Ah, yes, please. Thank you. All right. See you later, Mom. <sighs> okay, I got it. Have fun, you two. It was nice meeting you, ma'am. I'm sorry about my mother. She can be annoying sometimes. <laughs> it doesn't bother me. My parents are kind of the same way. Oh, really? Yeah, like you wouldn't believe. You'd be amazed. <laughs> well, shall we get going?
Hello. Raina, I wasn't expecting you two to be back so early. Just in time, though. I was just finishing up everything. Finishing up? What? Mom, what's all this food here for? Doesn't it look delicious? I put all of my best recipes out on the table for you. That's not what I mean. What? Did I do something wrong? I just thought I'd thank Mr. Kenny with a nice meal. I understand that, but isn't this a little much? Is it? He's pretty young, so I figured he'd have a big appetite. You are hungry, aren't you, Mr. Kenny? Actually, I am, yeah. See, a real man could put all this away, no problem. So eat as much as you like, all right? Uh, thanks. Oh, Mom. Oh, thank you so much for the meal, but I just can't eat anymore. Are you okay? You didn't have to force it all down, you know. I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got a cast iron stomach. I'm sorry my mother made so much. It was all delicious, though. My mother would never be able to do something like that. <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. I'm glad you're happy. I'm gonna go downstairs and help my mother clean up. Feel free to rest up here for a bit, alright? Sure, that sounds good. Man, I'm full! Mom, I wonder how she's doing. I hope she isn't too worried about me. I've got to find a way to get home. Raina's taking a while. Hello, ma'am. How was the meal, Mr. Kenny? I didn't make too much, did I? Oh, not at all. All of it was wonderful. Thanks for making it. Really? Oh, I'm so glad to hear that. You're welcome. So you really liked it? I really did. Are you a hundred percent sure? I'm one hundred percent sure about it. Well, thank goodness. I wouldn't know what to do if it wasn't good enough for the hero. Um, did you just say hero? Raina, oh, no, 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 no. What's wrong, Mom? Why are you panicking like that? I, uh, no, it, it's just that I've... Calm down, Mom, tell me what's wrong. I said it. Said what? I said the H word. 
What? You told him that? So what did he say? I don't think he understood what I meant. Look, what's going on here? Please be calm, everyone. It's all right. He doesn't understand what this is all about either. Oh, Mr. Kenny. This must be Claude C. Kenny then, yes? Allow me to say, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. My name is Regis, and I humbly serve this village as its mayor. Good to meet you, sir. Allow me to thank you profusely for saving our dear Reina's life in the sacred forest. Oh, not at all, sir. Speaking of which, Reina has told me that you are, at present, in the midst of a journey. Oh, well, it's hardly worth calling a journey, really. So tell me, where is your destination? The Kingdom of Cross, or perhaps the continent of Lacour? Well, I, uh... A curious traveler indeed. Not only do you not know where you are, but where you are going is also yet unknown. What are you trying to say, sir? Mr. Kenny, if you will forgive my rudeness for a moment, I do believe everything you have told us has been a lie. You are far from an ordinary traveler. If I'm not a traveler, then what am I? A visitor from another world. A hero of legend, hidden under the guise of a traveler. In fact, even you will agree that you are the hero of light who has come to fulfill his duty as our savior. Am I wrong? What? I, uh, listen, what would possibly make you think that I, uh... If it's proof you need, then let me share with you a glimpse of our world. It has been told in our history that when the people of Expel are suffering under the threat of impending doom, a hero will appear in garbs of foreign make, and with his sword of light, he will save us all. Your clothes are nothing like what we have, and you carry the sword of light. What more proof do we need? What are you... I don't have any sword of light. Of course you do! You used a blinding light to save me earlier. That? Maybe he really isn't the one. He's got to be. Hmm... I think I know why you're all confused. This weapon of mine, it's not a sword of light, although I'll admit that it's something like one, but still, carrying this around doesn't make me any kind of special hero. There's gotta be some kind of mistake. How can you say that? Well, I mean, I'm not a hero. I don't have any kind of power like that. I don't even have any idea what's going on here. How can you expect me to save anyone at all? You truly have no idea? You really don't know anything about the Sorcery Globe or the Cataclysms? We're not talking about something that happens in the village here. We're talking about the Cataclysms that have affected the entire world. It seems that you do not really know what we are talking about. Please allow me to explain. It all began three months ago. On another continent, northwest of this village, there is a kingdom by the name of El. One fateful day, a meteor crashed upon Aluria, 
a town located within El's territory. At first, people saw it as merely a rare and remarkable celestial event. But before long, a cataclysm took place. Great hordes of monsters suddenly appeared in the once peaceful nation, and the havoc they spread devastated the kingdom of El. There has never been anything like this before in our world, not until the arrival of that meteor. It only stands to reason that the two events are related to each other. The meteor came to be called the Sorcery Globe, a stone of pure demonic evil. No matter how you look at it, that stone must be the reason for the disasters that have befallen the world. And now, just as the sorcery globe fell upon our heads one day, so you have also appeared out of thin air. If that stone is the source of the chaos, then we believe that only you can cut through the chaos and save us. But I'm just a... The cataclysms are still ongoing as we speak. Strings of earthquakes like nothing recorded before. Docile animals turning into fearsome monsters. It will not be long before disaster befalls this humble village, too. But I... I'm not anyone special like your story said. How am I supposed to deal with some kind of magic meteorite? If you are not, then where did you come from? And where are you going? That's... I don't know how to explain it, and even if I did, you wouldn't understand it. The only thing I can tell you is that I'm here because of an accident, and not because I wanted to be here. I just want to go back to where I came from. That's all. You must have your reasons, but you must let us know more before we can make sense of this. I know, but that's all I can tell you. Very well. If you insist on it, then I am sure there is at least some truth to it. We will have to accept that you are not the Hero of Light after all. How can this be? I'm sorry. This is probably not what you all wanted to hear. Not at all. It is our own fault forcing you to be someone you are not in the first place. I'm sorry about this. Reyna! You should probably leave her be for now. She believed with all her heart that you were the hero we needed. I'm sure she will be over it soon enough. Reyna... There is one thing I would like to ask of you, Mr. Kenny. Please, if you can, try to avoid acting in a way that would confuse others. I am, of course, referring to the Sword of Light. But if you could, I ask you to be prudent with your behavior in general as well. As I explained to you, things have been unsettled ever since the Sorcery Globe landed. People are anxious and uncomfortable. To have someone who matches the description of our legends suddenly appear in these circumstances, well, hopefully you can understand why people like Reyna were holding out so much hope for you. So I do ask you to be mindful not to instill that hope into people. Please, that would be easier for everyone. Yes, Mayor. I'll try my best. Well then, on that note, Mr. Kenny, what's your next order of business? I wish I knew. I thought maybe I would try to find something that'll get me back home, but... 
In that case, why don't you stay here in our village for a while? You can stay in my house for as long as you like. Perhaps you'll be able to find out something useful while you're here. Oh, I, I couldn't impose like that. Not at all. If anyone was imposing around here, it was certainly us. I insist. Well, in that case, I will accept your offer then. Did you sleep well? Yes, very. Thank you. The mayor will see you downstairs. Good morning, Mayor. Ah, you're finally up. Yes, I needed a good night's sleep. Superb, superb. By the way, Mr. Kenny, if you can't find what you're looking for here in Arlia, you might want to try visiting the town of Salva to the north. Salva's a mining town where you can find people from all across the continent. Perhaps it will prove to be worthwhile to have a look over there. All right. Thanks for the tip. Don't worry about it. Oh, and one more thing. Your sword of light will probably attract too much attention. So please, make use of this sword instead. Finally, if you're ever tired, you can use the upstairs bed any time you like, day or night. Great. Thank you very much. I wish you the best of luck. Hey, mister. Huh? If you're gonna leave the village, you better stay close to the road, okay? The forest is really dangerous. I'll remember that. Thanks. Say that's worth 10 out of 10.
one for us. Whoa! We can win this! I hope. One for us. We can win this, I hope. Easier than I thought. Be careful. Air slash. Da! 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 Got you. That was easier than I thought. Here they come!